my gosh, guys, fall has entered the chat. The battle of the athletic shorts. All right, well, you're coming home with me. Watermelon hibiscus. Let's go get this massage and get our self-care rolling. Hello, you guys. I wanted to pop in before this vlog starts just to say thank you for all of the support on episode one of Curvy Connection. This is in the future, but I'm going to the beach with my mom today. So a little sunscreened up, a little greasy, got my suit on, but I just had to pop in at the beginning of this vlog because this is the one going up um, first after Curvy Connection. You guys, the response was a million times better than I ever could have even wished for. It makes my heart so full to know that so many of you guys feel seen and represented and shown in the reality dating space. And that is all I ever wanted out of this because as I've mentioned, I've watched reality dating shows for my whole adult life. And it was always just so like, depressing not seeing anyone that looked like me on these shows and it made me feel less than it made me feel unworthy and that's just it's just not right so you know taking on this project and by myself was really scary but it was so worth it just to know how many of you guys feel seen and represented in the reality dating space because as the show says <laughs> love is not one size fits all and that's in all regards a few things i wanted to touch on that i've seen um you know throughout the amazing comments as well which i'm so grateful for some people want to know why it's a plus size man and plus size girls like it was indicating that plus size people only can date plus size people never said that <laughs> um, that was something i thought about a lot beforehand this does not mean that only plus size people can date plus size people, but I wanted to create a show that would have as much plus size representation as possible on both ends. Um, I knew if I took the route of a plus size uh, man that people would say that. And I also knew if I did a thin man, people would say that he was a fetish person or a chubby chaser. I knew there'd be um, issues with both, <laughs> but at the end of the day, it was most important for me to do as much um, plus size representation in the show as possible. That was the most important thing in my opinion. And then I also saw some people wanting, you know, multiple guys. So it wasn't just one guy with all the girls. At the end of the day, this was a production that I put on by myself with my husband and we only had, you know, one, <laughs> Yar was my cameraman. So it was just, too much for us to do multiple men and multiple women. So this was like the more traditional dating show route that we decided to take. But overall, I am just, I'm just really thankful for all the support. Like truly, it means so much that you guys like it. And so many people tuned in, especially when it was airing. Me and my mom and Yara, I should have recorded last night when we watched it together. My mom came over, we all just like had it up on the TV. And then I was re like reading comments and replying on, um, the chat, but it was just, oh, it was so incredible. I've never felt so seen and represented and heard myself. I feel like this this project was very like healing for my inner child too, which was awesome. And truly, Luis and all the girls are incredible humans. The best cast we ever could have had, um, ever. <laughs> they are incredible people. I hope you guys all follow them and show them lots of love because they are fantastic. They were all so wonderful and did such an amazing job. But anyway, yeah, guys, I can't believe now we have to wait a week for the next episode. I'm like regretting that choice, but I wanted it to feel like as much of a TV show as possible, you know, considering it's just on YouTube. And, you know, I'm not saying it's perfect at all. We did the very best we could um, with what we had, but Yar, you guys are noticing the production quality and that means a lot because Yar put a lot of time and effort into researching cameras. He got like a special camera for this and um, he was so great with like making sure audio was good. He was just, he was amazing. Like shout out to my husband. You are amazing, Yar. Oh my gosh, supporting my dreams. I'll never forget. I've talked about this for a very long time and he, he knew about that for years. But a few months ago, um, more than a few months, I guess, we were at dinner with our, our friend group and I brought it up to them. They're like, you need to just do it. And I'm like, really? Shout out to our friends because that night they all really were like, just, just, just 
do it. And I'm like, really? Like, it just felt like a far-fetched idea that I could never actually do. Um, so that night is where everything changed and I was like, okay, let me see if I can do this. <laughs> and it just slowly, step by step, step by step came together. I'm just so grateful. I'm rambling, I'm sorry. I'm just really grateful. And I can't wait for you guys to see the rest of the season and watch the connections unfold. <laughs> All right, you guys, um, I'll let you guys get into the vlog now. But again, thank you, thank you, thank you. Like, you guys, your comments warmed my soul. I'm so glad you're loving it. You deserve to feel represented and seen. All right, um, enjoy the vlog. Hello, you guys. Welcome back to a new vlog. I'm about to kick off this vlog with the battle of the athletic shorts. <laughs> I just want to show you guys, this, this, this is life with clothes and how different sizing is all the time. So if you're like, Alex, what are you talking about? It was in a previous vlog, quick rundown. The Walmart shorts, I was excited. I found what I thought was a dupe for the Lululemon Hottie Hot shorts. These, the waist fit, but the legs were so tight. And this is the XXL slash 20. And right now most of my clothes are an 18. So I was like, I was really expecting the best. So then I ordered from Abercrombie. Panicked. Most of my Abercrombie stuff is an XL, especially their YPB line, which is their active wear. But I panicked, I got the XXL. They look great, but they are, they're really big. They're really big and they keep kind of sliding down and we've got a little bit of baggy crash. They don't look bad though. And I really don't have the mental capacity to return them. <laughs> but like, look at, this is one XXL. This is one. This is one XXL. Wait, these fit different than <laughs> these fit different than the lime ones from the other day. What's going on? They're still like really low rise. What what's going on here? What's going on? The ones I tried on from Walmart the other day were the lime ones, and they were way tighter than this. This is not bad actually. <laughs> I need them to be more high rise. I don't like the rise. Look how tight these ones were. And these are the same size. Are these different? Avia, Avia, Walmart, girl. <laughs> these fit totally different. If these were higher rise, I'd keep these. And then hold the phone. Your girl got her hands on the Lululemon Hottie Hot shorts. I got them in the lip gloss color, which is so cute. So I got a size 18 and honestly i feel like a lot of blue lemon runs a little bit big sometimes if i'm honest and i'm on my way to return these <laughs> i'm super confused because these are supposed to be high rise and they barely come to my belly button and they're way too big in the waist but like you know fit good in the legs so i don't know i don't know they do have um, a thing you can tighten them with. I would, if they were higher rise, I might keep them. So alas, my final thoughts. I love these Abercrombie ones. I am gonna order more in just the XL. I'm gonna keep this pair, because I do wanna wear them. <laughs> but I'm definitely gonna get the XL, because this is exactly what I was looking for. This thick smock, like it's just so comfy, great for really hot and humid days like today, because it's like 90 and humid, it's been horrible outside like you can barely go out and enjoy it and i want to say yeah these are just a little too big they don't look horrible but they just they feel they don't feel like they fit right i think these ones let me double check the price stand by the thing with abercrombie is they're always having sales too so i always buy stuff like during the sale so right now these are on sale for 40 and then the lululemon go for 68 so the Walmart ones are only 14. If you are smaller and want to size up, they'd probably fit you great. I didn't mind the way the red ones fit. I just wish they were a higher rise. So I'm going to return these and get my $70 back. And I'm going to place another order for these in the XL and I'm going to return the Walmart. That's the situation. That's the athletic short debate. <laughs> so anyway, I wanted to kick off the vlog and let you know I got my hands on the Lululemon, in my opinion not the vibe i just feel like they're not high rise enough i want my high rise up here <laughs> i want it i want it up here that one was like at my belly button so i'm about to head out i'm gonna do a target pickup lululemon return walmart return oh and an amazon return because i got this really cute dress and it's quite small i was excited because it had smocking but then right here is not stretchy and it's like 
just a little bit tight. We're trying to be comfy always. All right, I'm gonna head out and I will check back in with you guys after I get all my returns done. A few moments later. All right, Walmart return is done. It's like the shorts. It was hard to return those. <laughs> I just wish they were a little higher. Okay, Amazon is returned. Lululemon is returned. Target pickup is picked up and we're done. It was actually like a little sad because, and like this is real vulnerable girl stuff for me. I felt, when I go into Lululemon, I still feel a little self-conscious being a bigger person. Like it really upsets me how they don't have bigger sizes in the store. And like everyone who works there is, you know, thin. And it's hard not to feel self-conscious sometimes. But um, I wish stores would really start to carry that, especially if they just carry it online, carry it in store. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just like rude, you know? And you're missing out on a lot of money. One eternity later. All right, back from all the errands. And here's my Target stuff. It's not a lot, but the biggest thing I needed was more of the Barilla protein pasta. This is where I always grab it. So I got one of the penne and one of the spaghetti. I also got some of this Bonza mac and cheese. This is really good. I like to have one in the house for like, I don't know, just like a lazy lunch or something, or if I'm in the mood. But I really like the Bonza mac and cheese because with chickpea pasta, 15 grams of protein, really, really good. Um, and it doesn't make me sick. If you like pepper jack cheese, you gotta get these. These are like my favorite cheese snack. You know, whether you like a little string cheese, I love cheese, just a quick little protein, just a good snack. The pepper jack cheese sticks. I always get these from Target. They are chef's kiss. Oh, look what we got for Bruni. They had Busy Bones on sale. You want one because you're such a good boy? Yes. You said good boy. You haven't had one of those in a while. Enjoy. <laughs> there he goes to his eating area. There is nothing cuter than when your dog takes their little treat and just scurries off with it. It's so fresh. I don't think he's had this kind before. Maybe he has the twisted. I normally get the peanut butter ones. And then I got some of these up and up makeup remover wipes. I take my makeup off with like the cleansing balm and washable, reusable little face rounds. But I like having these in the house just for like miscellaneous things and I didn't have any. So that's all I got from Target super easy. Um, I have some Amazon stuff I need to open and I'm going to film my Prime Day video today with um, a bunch of Prime stuff. Mostly stuff I already own. I think almost all of it I already own. I don't know what's in here. This is not going in the Prime video. Oh yeah, this is for Yar. This is Yar's thing. This is like, oh, this is a waterproof box for our string light thing outside because it's not supposed to get wet. So this is like just to cover the the wire and it's like waterproof so yes I'm gonna go do my makeup get ready to film and then film my prime day video many hours later all right y'all checking in I just filmed my Amazon prime day video and one of the things is this body suit when I tell you guys I've had this recommended on my page for like months it's like a skims vibe bodysuit I'm so glad I bought it. It's amazing. It like snatches, like these usually fit perfectly and they've got like lots of room now. Um, it is a snatcher. <laughs> and I love bodysuits that you can just like wear as, you know, a tank top. And I've got my cider shorts on, these cute little cargo shorts from my cider haul video that I posted a few videos back. And I love it. I love it. I am wearing like some nippy covers cause it's not like super opaque, but it's opaque enough. Um, I will say I got the 4 slash 5X and I held it up and it was like, <laughs> it was tiny. So I'm glad I did. I was going to get the 2 slash 3X, but size up. Um, it's a little work to put it on, but it's amazing. This is the thong version. They also have one that comes down to like mid thigh, but it's a yes for me and it is going to be on sale for Prime Day. So I am going to make myself a little snack plate for lunch 
because that's who I am. I just like would prefer a, bunch, a plethora of snacks for lunch versus a meal. So I'm gonna rinse off and cut up some berries, cut up some mini cukes with hummus. And then I think like maybe some cheese and crackers. I know, I eat like a child, but we try, we try to keep it semi-balanced. All right, I'm back. Ooh with a little lunch. Why does this look so good? So we've got cucumbers with hummus, our favorite, some cheese and crackers, and some watermelon. Delish, like the perfect lunch. Have you just been living your best life today? <laughs> You've been curled up here all day. You having a good time? You wanna go for a walk? Ooh, you wanna go for a walk? Oh, wanna go for a walk? I love the head tilt. Yes, let's get moving. Just sat and edited for like two hours. It's like three o'clock, 3.30. Just took off the makeup, cause we're done for the day, so. And put these shorts back on, and just this old Fabletics top, cause it's so hot. This walk's not gonna be like the best, but we're just gonna embrace the sweat, cause like, just feel like I need some movement, you know? And the dog does too, so. It'll be good, it'll be good. Put on some Chevrolet rub cream and call it a day. Does anyone else struggle with letting their dog sniff? It's like, I wanna stop and let him sniff everywhere he wants to for as long as he wants to. But if I do that, we won't get very far. So I let him sniff a few times and I'm like, okay, let's go. All right, y'all, for dinner, I'm on my own because Yara's at Army. So I'm gonna do some air fried salmon bites. So I just cut up a piece of salmon in two little cubes. I'm gonna do this avocado olive oil blend. I'm gonna do salt and pepper, garlic powder. Measure with your hot, pressured pepper. I like it spicy. And the star of the show, Mike's Hot Honey. This is the key. This is the most delicious air fryer salmon. I'm gonna add a little bit of this. Just a splash of coconut aminos, um, or you can do soy sauce. And voila. I air fry on 350 for maybe 10 minutes, but I just like keep an eye on them and shake them throughout. And I'll probably just serve it with brown rice and some broccoli. Tomorrow. Good morning from me and Bruno. Bruno is sitting in his favorite chair. He loves sitting in that chair. And honestly, I love being in this room now. This is where I've been editing for the last few weeks, just at this desk. <laughs> and Bruno sits there and he puts his head on the little side. It's so cute. Let's crack open some caffeination. Oh, little messy a little messy so it is super dreary today and i'm honestly here for it i am here for a self-care day on a dreary day i will say we did just lose power <laughs> it like went off and then it came on then went off on off on off and it's been off now for like 15 minutes so you know i'm about to leave the house so i'm just gonna leave it uh leave it be and see what happens. So I'm gonna treat myself to the ultimate self-care day today. And I'm so excited about it because life has just been a lot and it's just been go, 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 go. And not that you need an excuse for a self-care day because treat yourself, but I, I feel, I'm at the point where I feel like I need it. Like I just, I hit a wall recently and I'm like, I need self-care. I need, I need to relax. I've definitely felt um, just exhausted with editing the show and keeping up with like regular content um, and just life. So yeah, I'm just excited. I'm gonna take today for myself. I scheduled myself a massage um, that's in like a half hour. So I'm gonna leave for that shortly. Um, I wanna go poke around Target, maybe go to the movies. I don't know, like I'm just, I'm just leaving it up to myself today and I'm just gonna feel out the vibes. Um, Cause I don't, I know I'm not gonna do all that. <laughs> But I haven't had like a solo movie date in a while. Like I said, Yara's at Army, so it's just me. And I'm trying to think like what I wanna do. Like the day is my oyster. I'm not gonna work today. I worked all day yesterday and the last few weeks I'm just gonna take today. So we'll start with the massage. And then after that, it's gonna be like lunchtime. So I don't know if I'll pick something up or make something at home. I'll come back, hang with the dog for a little bit before I head out again. And then we'll figure out if we wanna go pedicure vibe because I really need a pedicure my feet 
they need a pedicure. Um, or if I want to do like a solo movie date or the Target poke around, but we'll see where the day takes us together. I'm so excited. And Amazon Prime Day is tomorrow, so I'm gonna be posting, that will already be up and probably passed when this vlog goes up, but um, might do a little shopping tomorrow. But a lot of the stuff I already have and loved was on sale, so I posted that already, which was really exciting. So hopefully you guys enjoyed Prime Day, since it's over now when you're watching. But yeah, let's go get this massage and get our self-care rolling. Gosh, this is what I walk outside to. Oh my gosh. I am soaked and I'm parked right out front. <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know if you can see how wet I am. <laughs> Jeez, man. Why am I even like trying to dry myself off? <laughs> Cause like I'm all lathered up in like oil and lotion and this just feels like extra slimy now but my massage was top tier very good i do find it very funny though and tell me if you i think i've mentioned this before but i do feel like people assume when you're plus size that you want like a heavy massage because <laughs> like oh there must be a lot to work through <laughs> but i like i'm here for like a light relaxing massage you know what i mean just like a light um but i always set that precedent because if, if i don't they're gonna go hard. This rain is not the vibe though. I'm okay with a little drizzle, but it is like dangerously downpouring. So I might just like wait a minute here, see if it like calms down. Cause I was feeling a target perusing, but I'm gonna wait a few minutes, feel it out, see if it calms down. A few moments later. We're at the Holy Grail. Um, the rain has stopped. I won't lie, I had to stop for a while because like it was like really, really dangerous. Um, but it's let up now. So we're gonna go peruse at Target. I look rough. <laughs> I had a little mini brush in my car, thankfully, but like I don't know. <laughs> I feel like low-key kind of greasy, but like I also like don't want to go home yet. Like I just feel like being out. So let's go peruse and see. I haven't literally walked around to Target in months. Maybe not months. <laughs> But I've been doing my pickups or doing quick shops. I haven't like poked around the home or clothes really in like a while. There's nothing better than Target on a rainy day. Oh my gosh, stop. How cute is this? It's so cute. Oh my gosh, guys, fall has entered the chat. Oh my god. This is so exciting. I love summer, but I love fall. Okay, but this is so cute. All right, well, you're coming home with me. This is the most obvious purchase I've ever needed. A pumpkin, um, like, come on, $5, run to Target. I'll be honest, I'm not really feeling clothes, so we're gonna go to the home. Oh my gosh, you guys, the fall is coming. Why is it so, this is like the mood. Palm Springs for summer and then fall. <laughs> oh my God. That smells so good, I'm gonna die, I love it. I won't allow myself to buy a fall candle in July. This is also how you know fall is coming because it's all college stuff in the home section. Some new Studio McGee. Why do I love that horse? And then look at, we've got a little fall action sneaking in. This bowl is so pretty. I also love this for the fall. I wonder if I have somewhere to put that because that is so pretty. I also love this lamp, which I don't need. The texture, so beautiful. I have a feeling there's gonna be like a huge Studio McGee drop after the dorm stuff is gone. Cause I saw a few folly things from her, which is my fave. Studio McGee is my fave. But I don't think there's gonna be a lot more till maybe next month. I feel like by then the dorm stuff is gone. So we'll have to check back, but not a whole lot of new, but a couple cute things, but we don't need them. So I've seen this dress online before and I love the concept, but some people said this like wire boob thing made their boobs look weird, but it's so cute. It's like strapless little bow tube dress. I'm gonna need Joy Lab. Okay, I'm gonna need you to add more sizes because your stuff's cute, but it goes up to XL and a small one. Okay, it's kind of dry here, but 
I'm gonna get this for Bruno. <laughs> Switch up his uh, other fresh pet. Just like the slicey one. Maybe I'll get him a toy. Back to school already. Six and a half hours later. You wanna see what I got you? Oh, oh you love the crinkles. Let me take this off. I know, does he really need another toy? But he loves the ones that crinkle like this and we don't have any. Oh, 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 oh. Go get it. <laughs> Ooh, crinkly. Oh yeah, he loves it. Okay, Bruni is very happy. I'm home with a little fun. So I ended up not getting that much at Target. Like I said, it was like kind of dry, but I do think it's kind of that season at Target between summer and fall. But I am so glad I grabbed this. Go grab this at Target because it's one of those things that's gonna probably go viral on TikTok. Maybe it has already. And it's gonna sell out because this for $5, it's so freaking cute this little spout i'm like this is a halloween party moment you could use this also for like even thanksgiving because it's a gourd <sighs> i love it i love it so much best five dollars ever i also grabbed him another rawhide free bone a, like a long-term one i'm gonna give him that when he finishes the other ones oh my gosh this this i am really curious so i love lesser evil snacks they're really good i love their um Himalayan popcorn, but they had like sweet flavors. They had um, pina colada, lemonade, and then watermelon hibiscus. So you already know, we're gonna do a taste test right here, right now, let's give it a whiff. Ooh, I don't know, like I, I'm just, I'm confused by this. But also I thought like, what about kettle corn? Like a sweet popcorn, let's try it. Hmm, hmm. It's very subtle, but it's good. You can see the seasoning on it. So it's like sweet at first, but then it gets kind of um, like salty popcorn after. It's actually very good. So I got a new face moisturizer because I just ran out of my Olay one. And I didn't love the Olay one enough to repurchase. So I got this Cetaphil mattifying acne moisturizer and then I'll just put SPF on top. But, you know, people love Cetaphil and CeraVe, so I figured I'd get something from them. Then I got a new hand cream. You can hear him playing with his toy. Um, I always keep one beside the bed. I just finished my big one. So I got this crepe corrector hand cream. Um, just like anti-age on the hands, because I've actually noticed my hands starting to look a little older, which is nothing wrong with that. But like, why not grab it in the lotion? You guys saw I got <laughs> this massive dog food. So Bruno, I, we get him the fresh pet um it's like in a bag though with like shredded meat and vegetables so i got him something different to switch it up um because he gets bored sometimes so this is the slice and serve it's a big log <laughs> they had small ones too um and then i also just got um some cold brew and lastly i did dig through the clearance and i got these cute universal thread shorts they're so cute and it was actually really funny because I grabbed them in the like regular clothing section. Um, I got the, they were universal thread. So I grabbed the XXL just out in the world over there. And then I went to the clearance and they had a one X on sale for $9 versus the full 20. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna grab this one. So that was really <laughs> kind of exciting, kind of thrilling. So nothing too mage, but it is two o'clock now. Gotta figure out something to eat for lunch, a late lunch. Um, and also I think I'm gonna go to the gym cause I was supposed to go this morning, but my massage appointment, it was just too tight. So I think I'm gonna go, I think I'm gonna go work out. And then I don't know if I'm gonna, I don't know if I wanna go to the movies or not today. It's just so dreary. I kinda just wanna watch a movie here. But I do love a solo movie date. It's been years since I've gone to the movies alone, so. I don't know, we'll see. I'll take you guys along, but I'm gonna go change into my workout clothes after I eat something. Tomorrow. Good morning. I just was about to take out my overnight curls and I was like, I don't think I vlogged anymore last night. Um, I didn't go to the movies or get a pedicure. I curled up and watched a show. <laughs> I also did get sucked into a little bit of work, but I was rejuvenated to get back to work after my amazing massage. So, oh, amazing, amazing. This is the Kish curl set. 
Um, this is the one I've been using lately. I don't know. I just like this one better. I thought I didn't, but I do. Um, oh, hello. Because I showered last night. Oh, I ended up going to the gym. I don't think, was that the last clip I took? I went to the gym. I came back. I took a shower. I had dinner. And then I watched, um, I started Glamorous on Netflix. Because I already, I finished the ultimatum, uh, the new season of the ultimatum, and it was so good. But I was immediately drawn to Glamorous because it has Samantha from Sex and the City in it. Oh! Yes, girl! <gasps> I'm telling you! I'm telling you! And these will like slowly fall and they last for days. I will link the kit from Amazon. I just washed my face. I'm going to use the new Cetaphil Gentle Clear Mattifying acne moisturizer that i got yesterday i used it last night after my shower and i love i love the feeling of it it's like very very lightweight and it like dries down nicely i liked the olay one that i just finished but like it was a little thick for me i don't know i feel like my skin didn't love it and i'm gonna throw on my uh skin firming hydration lotion I've been dry, I've been using this too. So I'm gonna end this vlog here because I feel like it's been going on forever. I know we're all like addicted to Amazon. I got this Amazon tank that I slept in last night. Nicest fabric ever. I'm like starting to just cave in and get the stuff that is like on my recommended page. Like that bodysuit, this tank. And if it's not good, just return it. Because Amazon returns are like just so easy. It's good. <laughs> it is so stretchy and comfy. I got the XXL, but this could definitely fit a few sizes bigger. It's just, I don't know, it's just like the perfect tank. And I love the hot pink color. I'll link the tank too. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I love you guys so much. And I will see you again in a few days. Remember, take time for you. Don't burn out. If you do burn out, please take a break. But try to like relax before you hit hit the wall. <laughs> All right, I love you. Bye.